Spain, of course, taking to the field for the first time in this edition of the most prestigious festival in world football. No doubt looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them, and every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. Unmistakably, this is the Camp Nou staging a game in the way only the Camp Nou can. A moment of great pride, the anthems. Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Well, Peter, both of these teams will take to the pitch with a three-point focus. Ambition is fresh and strong, and each will want to go deep into the competition, so neither will be looking to come out of this with a, a flawed game plan. This has to be assured and close to their best. the whistle Jim you've played in games of this nature who can make the difference yeah Isco he's the one with the magic feet Peter he's the kind of player who can change a game with a single touch unlocking a defence or, or creating space to get a shot away I'm assuming that he's been tasked with being the creator in chief here and you can see him picking out runners and, and setting up people in that final third Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Sergio Ramos does well to read it and intercepts. Hoists it forward. This is promising. Saul. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. Tries to get it forward quickly. Thiago. And it's played forward. What an adventurous run from a defender. Massive leap! Good delivery. No joy. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Isco. And they've been caught out here. Yeah, he's fouled him there. We have the first dead ball situation of the game, promising one. He'll fancy himself from here. Thiago! That was travelling. And it's Morata. Isco, has he picked him out? A chance, shoots! Up towards the front line. Saul gets it back. 
truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Going through, just... And the shot! Tries to get it forward quickly. Isco. And the ball's come out. Whipped in. Isco. Up for the header. Goal! Spain! Great header. Made it look easy. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch. He was fully deserved. He played with everything he had. Established. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. And that's going to be a booking. Good challenge, he just stood firm. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and it's 1-0. And it's played forward, and it's Saul. Morata, room for a shot, he's had a goal! Quick time! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Spain take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. And it's going to be the final action of the first half. We'll look back on the first 45 minutes. Spain just didn't want the half-time whistle to be blown. Convincing and controlled. Spain sitting pretty here at half-time. 2-0 up. We're underway again. Well, that's where he wants it. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back here. Saul battles to win it back. Morata is alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. He's left his man. Uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. That's a decent ball. 
Thiago. Morata. Isco, who does have an assist to his name. It's gone for a throw in. Chance to cross it. Towering header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Hoists it forward. Now it's Morata. As he found his man, cuts it out, Thiago, and they've got it back as soon as they gave it away, and here's Morata, Isco, and it's Morata, who's ball, who's going to get there? Defenders on the back foot, oh he's caught him there, it's a free kick. And he has shown him a yellow card. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. Pastathopoulos. In it comes. Goalkeeper's ball. Thiago. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, he'll be seen as the number one enemy because of his creative ability. Good ball. Oh, good take. Morata! Drives it towards the front. Sergio Ramos gets into the right position to intercept. And it's Thiago. Morata. Cleared without complication. Greece are very keen on the aerial route. Look, if you're good at it and instructed to carry on doing it, then you find a way of making it work. And they are. Isco. Now it's Morata, Rodrigo, Morata, he's away, it's Morata! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. Morata should really have closed the game out then, and this could come back to haunt him. For a change in personnel. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Shapes the shoot! Oh, extraordinary. Defending was strong and firm. And it's Morata. Isco. Isco. Crunching tackle. For Tunis. And that's it. Oh, that's the way to launch the campaign. They can look ahead with confidence and comfort. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory and look ahead with real belief.